Okay, how is everybody? So, this is a very short video because there, there's a problem with the notes in ingenuity and there's more than one problem like this, but this is the one that they keep using again and again, so I'm gonna explain it. Also, there's like one question in the quiz that uses this. If, if you see, if you happen to get that question, I'm gonna tell you what the answer is they expect to get. So anyway, first the right way. You have chromic acid, plus barium hydroxide, and that gives you barium chromate plus two molecules of water. That's the reaction, okay? Now, we know that chromic acid is a weak acid, and we know it's weak because it's not one of the strong acids. Remember, I gave you that list, so it has to be a weak acid. Barium hydroxide, even though it's only slightly soluble, it is a strong base, so that one will split into the two ions. It will completely dissociate. Now, since this is a weak acid, it doesn't dissociate. So when I'm writing the ionic equation, this would not be split. Why? It doesn't split. Only very small amounts of it actually split into the ions. So we don't write weak acids or weak bases as dissociated. We just don't do that. The strong base gets dissociated, right? Completely dissociated into barium and two hydroxide ions. And then we get to this. Barium chromate, it's insoluble. It's a solid. It's going to precipitate to the bottom of the beaker. So in other words, I don't split it. And of course, the water doesn't get split. It's covalent. So guys, this would be the ionic equation and the net ionic equation. And if you notice, there's, there's nothing that cancels because of the type of reaction this is, because this is a weak acid, because that's a solid. There's nothing that actually cancels here. So that's the way it will be written. If you were writing this in, in a college class, this is what I would expect you to do. And actually, most people wouldn't waste time doing this. They would just write it like this. There's nothing to be gained from writing the net ionic equation in this case, okay? Now, let's see what ingenuity does. Ingenuity, yeah, in the ingenuity way. And I don't know why this is wrong, and uh, I've sent them a text telling them that this is wrong, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So we start with the same initial reaction, and they tell you that you should split this into acids, into, into the ions, two hydrogen ions and one chromate. They also have a mistake this. Chromate is negative two, not negative one, but you know, I guess if you're wrong in one thing, why not be wrong in other things? Then they split this, and that's right. That's a strong base. I can split it. And then they split the barium chromate, which is wrong. This is a solid. You wouldn't split it into ions plus the water. And they call this the total ionic equation. And according to them, you can cancel the bariums, and you can cast in the chromates. Again, those chromates are wrong because it's negative 2, not negative 1 like they write. So their net ionic equation is just the neutralization reaction. The water being made from the hydrogen ion and the hydroxide ion, just so you know. And in their universe, there are spectator ions, the barium ion and the chromate ion, again, with the wrong charge. They call those spectator ions, okay? So if you get this question uh, during the assignment, which I'm not taking for a grade, uh, or during the quiz, and the quiz I am taking for a grade, just remember, this is what they expect in ingenuity. That's the total ionic, that's the net ionic, and that's the spectator ions. So I'm just telling you so you know, and you can answer that question right. Um, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.